Hey guys, what is going on? I'm here with my buddy Jesse. This guy's a pretty rad photographer, like professional photographer, like amazing photographer. So What's up? We're here talking about the eclipse and how you photograph the eclipse because I know a ton of you are interested in how you photograph the eclipse, whether you're using like a professional DSLR camera, a mirrorless, any kind of camera, even your iPhone. And I know a lot of you are gonna be like, well, how do I just shoot with my iPhone? Because that's what you guys got. So we're gonna have a little conversation, kind of give you some tips and tricks to make it all happen and to get that awesome photo of the eclipse because you got like three or four minutes and that's it. No matter where you're at, in the US, you're most likely gonna be able to see some part of the eclipse in that three to four minutes. You wanna make sure you at least get one good photo. So why don't we get into some tips on how they can get the best out of shooting the eclipse with an iPhone or a DSLR, depending yeah. on what you have. I recommend a DSLR. Always because. shoot the best you can, yeah. but if you just have an iPhone, you can still get some rad photos. Yeah, yeah. All right, so the first thing is you gotta have a tripod. Whatever your camera sits on, it's gotta be completely stable no matter what. Because you're gonna be shooting an object in the sky on a long lens, even if you're not on a long lens, it's still, you want it stable. If there's any sort of blur, anything whatsoever, it ruins the shot. So you gotta have it crystal clear on a tripod. You can get an ND filter, which is a neutral density filter, which is like sunglasses for your camera lens and for your sensor. Basically, you're gonna wanna set up the sun in the right position before the eclipse happens. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is have something in front of the lens, which basically blocks out a lot of the light so you can actually see where the sun is in your frame. And this is tricky because you only have one shot. So you wanna get like everything set up and ready to go so when you have those three, four minutes when the eclipse is happening, it's like boom, 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 everything's ready, everything's set up, and you click the photos, you get good photos. Make sure your iPhone has a good charge, at least, 50% or more. Why would you go with less than that? I, I just mean, make sure it's charged. Yeah. <laughs> if you're worried. It's kind of obvious, but. A another way to do this is get a power bank, have it, have it plugged in, so there's no chance. I mean, look, you only have four minutes, and then on the front and end, you're setting up the shot, so you should have enough battery. Check your battery. Stop tweeting, stop Instagramming. And that brings it's up better. another big point. Make sure your phone's on airplane mode. Like, you don't want interruptions as it's coming in. Sorry, hold on, I got a phone call. Oh wait, I missed. Make sure you clear your storage on your phone. I get it all the time, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the, the reminder, <laughs> like, your storage is full. Delete photos, yeah. delete videos, store them on your hard drive, store them on your computer. Clear your phone. And if you're using a bigger camera, like a DSLR, mirrorless or something, just put a fresh card in. Just make sure you have enough space to shoot a shot every few seconds for like 10 minutes. Like, cause that, and that gets into the next point, which is how you're going to shoot the eclipse. And can you hear the dog chewing on bone? Just ignore that. Just ignore, ignore that. that. Don't worry about it. Basically, when you're shooting the eclipse, you're gonna to wanna to take a lot of photos, like a ton of photos. So a good way to do this, especially with the phone, is to have an app that basically takes a photo every few seconds, a time lapse essentially, but you don't want the app to automatically create a time lapse when you're shooting photos, you want it to basically shoot individual photos. And there's apps out there that does this, just research different time lapse interval apps that allow you to take a photo and a high quality photo on your phone, make sure it's like the highest quality possible, not some compressed BS, so that you can take a photo every three seconds. That's the ideal timing. So the interval will take over for you having to sit there pressing the shutter every three seconds or five seconds or. And that brings up another big point, which is if you put your hand on the camera, whether it's a phone or a bigger camera, if you touch the camera, you're gonna shake the camera. You want a trigger off the camera so that you're able to trigger the photos, whether it's Bluetooth trigger, a cord trigger, anything. You do not wanna to touch the camera during the eclipse unless you're having to adjust where the shot's pointed. That's the only time to touch the camera. But you should have that lined up anyway, right? So Jesse, tell me about your experience shooting the supermoon, because that's a very similar type of event like this in terms yeah. of shooting. With my 135 for like personal experience, it was, it was very small in my frame. That's the biggest lens that I have, so, or the longest focal length. But because of my megapixel, I was able to zoom in. If I had been planning for it. Which you're planning which, right now by watching this. Yeah, I would have 
amped it up to maybe a 400 millimeter or 500 or 600. But there are attachments for telescopes that stick your iPhone on the telescope. So basically the ideal focal length for shooting the sun, moon, eclipse, any of that is around 2000 millimeters. And with an iPhone, you obviously can't crop in that much without deteriorating the image quality too much. So if you're shooting with a telescope and you have an adapter, get a lens that has like 2000 millimeters on it. Cause that is gonna give you a full frame eclipse. And that is gonna be like amazing. Find your friends that have telescopes, find an attachment. A big point that I guess we, ha we need to mention, and this is something that everyone talks about, is you gotta have glasses to look at the sun. Yeah, solar glasses. Just protect your eyes because you're gonna be looking, trying to set your shots on the phone, this and that. Like, just like the ND filter for the camera, have your glasses on because you, if you're looking up there, you have to look with your glasses, otherwise you'll burn out your eyeballs. Yeah, go blind doing this, it's not worth it. No, it's four minutes and don't burn out your eyes. Last thing, test. All your equipment make sure it's working when's the last time you like had a dead battery in the middle of a shoot yeah. that sucks go shoot the sun with a nd filter on just to make sure you can get that photo you don't want to wait till the eclipse yeah and then blow it and you might actually get some cool test shots too yeah that's true you might get some cool test shots have fun with it hopefully it is a fun experience yeah, it's hopefully you're with friends and they enjoy eclipses right yeah i mean if you get a chance to be in that path of totality right where the eclipse completely happens Guys, have fun. We're here in LA. We're gonna see like a 75% shading of the sun, so we'll get some cool like sliver stuff, but we're not gonna see the full, it's not gonna go black here. Enjoy this experience, because it's once in a lifetime. Yeah, I'll be on my 5DSR with that 135, that's all I got. You're not gonna get anything else? <laughs> I'm limited to my only. Well, you can punch in. Yeah, so you're gonna have to punch in and post. So guys, if you wanna check out my photography, I'm at thelocalskill.com or at thelocalskill on Instagram. He's gonna be posting a ton of photos from this. I'm sure he's gonna be out there shooting. Guys, check us out at, at Wanderworks. It's the same across all social media. Jesse, thanks for coming on today. Thanks, James. For interrupting. For interrupting. And guys, <laughs> we will see you on the next one.